One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Bizzo here. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the long weekend. Uh, yeah, market is closed on Monday. So, uh, you know, technically, uh, month of May is over uh, for us. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, to June. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, this last few days, it's been, uh, you know, like, I think the beginning of May was really, uh, you know, quiet. Uh, the, the market sentiment is just so slow, I think, because of the crypto uh, stuff. And now they all kind of die and, you know, people are kind of, you know, switching back to to the mammoth stocks. Right. So, uh, you know, it's it's been good uh, the last couple of days. Uh, you know, the amount, the amount of actions that we got daily, uh, you know, you can clearly, clearly tell uh, the volume starts uh, to come in uh to come in so uh i think you know it's 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 really good and uh uh you know this month um it's been quite slow for me in uh you know i think in the first or like uh, the second week of may and then the third week and last week was was pretty good so uh really like the liquidity there the volatility uh, you know as well um uh bring into this market so yeah, uh, with that being said, uh, today I just want to go over one of the topic. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it has been discussed before, but I just want to kind of go over this trade with you guys and, uh, you know, basically go over details with this. Uh, and I think, you know, could be useful. Uh, yeah, so the topic for today's video is how to avoid uh, the first red day trap. Okay. And uh, I'm going to bring up. Uh, chart here and today the ticker we're going to talk about yes uh, you know it's been a few days uh, this ran AMC this is the sector that we are in right now mammoth stocks uh, <clears throat> and you know if you knew I mean this is really crazy uh, you know the amount of traps the volatility liquidity i mean you know the amount of volume traded i mean it's just insane okay i think you know it's really it it really came close to i think uh the beginning of january maybe just like slightly you know maybe maybe you know slightly off a little bit but uh it's a uh, it's it's really good the actions that we're seeing <clears throat> and you know uh let me check uh hang on one sec one year like last year you see like this move when it ran like from three or five to like you know 20 15 dollar kind of move right i mean this one you know probably 15 15 you know or like a 20 dollar kind of move and so this is like pretty strong right and we can uh you can tell that based on that volume uh I mean, uh, here maybe over like a billion or something, uh, you know, it's just slightly a little bit off, but you know, the amount of actions we're getting, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good. And, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, on something like this, um, you know, I basically talk about this before, uh, there's not much you can do, right? If you miss your chance going long into this parabolic move, uh, you know, you kind of have to wait for the first red day. Right. Uh, I mean, like the the real momentum kind of shift on that day. That's where we want to attack. Right. And so uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, the trade on Friday because uh, I think Friday, the, the previous close was. I can't remember uh, somewhere in here, 2752, I believe. Uh, 2752. 27.52 something yeah <clears throat> and when it kind of hit right it's just tang another maybe like two points here but uh this is uh not uh, uh the topic i want to talk about today we discussed over this before 
uh, you know, first red day, I just want to, you know, give you guys a quick uh, kind of info regarding that. Uh, first red day is really powerful in the first hour, okay? Uh, you know, other than that, I mean, yes, throughout the day, they could tank, <clears throat> but it's not as powerful as uh, in the first hour. If you notice, uh, GME, when it had that first red day, within the first hour, okay? So see how the powerful move. I think it was like 52 or something like that. And it tanked all the way, you know, you got like 20 points uh, on this one. Uh, but AMC, since it's not within the first hour, I mean, the move is not as strong as, as expected. So, yeah, it dropped like two bucks here. But, you know, on something like this, you know, if it dropped in the first hour, I would probably expect it, uh, you know, to drop all the way to maybe like 15 or 17, something like that. So, I mean, like 10 points easily you can get from this one. So... Yeah, so uh, back to the main, uh, you know, topic today. Uh, I just want to kind of go over this trade I took. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in the trading, getting started in the MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Uh, AMC that was on uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, May 27th uh, 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 here. And, uh, you know, as you, as you can see here, the yellow line, uh, which is uh, the red to green line, right? Uh, and and uh, I was, you know, <clears throat> pretty, like, uh, my thought process was, uh, on something like this, uh, like it ran, it ran from, you know, 12 or 13 all the way to like, uh, you know, uh, I think on, on this candle, uh, one, two, three days, you know, good volume here, right? I was hoping to be this one, uh, you know, it could be the first red day after it ran from 12 to like, uh, you know, 1950 or so. Right, and so the previous close was uh, 1956. I'm gonna pull up the chart here. 1956. Let me just bring out the, this chart, this area right here. As you, as you can see, right. So you know now it's you know it just looks r ridiculous when stock went you know from 18 to like 28 right uh but uh started in, in the morning uh you know like uh, on wednesday stock uh, kind of put in uh, this uh uh top uh you know basically a top out here at 20 line which is you know pretty much the top is set when it done this uh in the pre market at you know uh, 5 a.m. and this is the red to green line, okay? So my thought process on this, okay? So it ran that much already from 12 to like 20, right? And with good, decent amount of volume and also on the third day, right? I mean, one of, one of the bows rule is you do not want along the third day. But, you know, this AMC is really a different beast, okay? This is not something like, you know, like a, a, a you know, a typical small caps. But, uh, you know, this, like, you know, this, the momentum is so, so strong. Everybody is interested in this, the, you know, all the diamond hands. Uh, I think they got back big time in, in, in crypto and now they switch back to, 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 the, to, to, to this one, right? G, uh, GME and AMC member stocks. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, the thesis was uh, the third day. Uh, yes, I don't want to be go uh, going long. Twenty seems to be a solid line here. Put out, you know, trying to break out several times, uh, you know, uh, after hours, but I couldn't, right? So, like my thesis was pretty much solid, and I I I really like the setup. And, but uh, you know, I've talked about in a in a watch list or main chat that uh, I don't want to see this uh, reclaim this uh, line, 1953. Okay, so. As soon as I saw this crack, you know, like I thought this was going to be like the first red day. Okay. So I was expecting for this to maybe to drop to like, you know, SSR. I don't know what SSR was. Uh, 
1953 times. I don't know. Let me check. Uh, three times 0.9, so which is 1757. Okay, so I would probably expect for the stock to turn into this, maybe or 18. And so that was my goal. Uh, you know, I was trying to short into this at 9 a.m. Uh, you know, you know, my my goal was to scale into this uh, 1950 line. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so I, you know, I started starter here, and then, uh, you know, my plan, if you know, it was like a, a going higher, uh, probably I'm, I'm gonna add it here and 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 uh, uh, stop out of that. But uh, you know, since that's just grinding, it didn't get the first pop, it didn't get to that line, and then it rejects, right? And went below view app, and then it pops back, and you know, right after that. I said, okay, so this is really the key kind of point here for me uh, on how to actually, if I should stick to that trade or if, you know, if this is a trap. Okay. So I think the biggest, the biggest, uh, you know, the sign that I see from this one, that could, this could be a trap is, uh, you know, is this. Okay. So at the first few minutes here, trying to pop back into this line, right? Rejects right away, which is perfect, right? Which is what I want, uh, which is what I want here, uh, you know, rejects here. And then my goal is, okay, let's say rejects here, right? I think I'm going to add, okay? And uh, this is the reg like the real rejections that I need, right? And when it kind of drop to this one i was thinking okay so you know stock basically uh you know wash here but then it immediately it's kind of pull up right away and, and and pop all the way back into this and you know this is not something that you want to see uh you know when it's drop drop like this quick and then got saved right back okay yes uh you know because i still had some of the order up here i mean I, I, you know, I wasn't sure that like, you know, like I think this line was like pretty solid line. So that's why, you know, I had an order there after this, uh, you know, pop and then drop right here. I was expecting for this to pop right back here in this candle. Okay. I mean, this one is on two minutes. You probably not see it clear, but after this drop, I was hoping for, for the, for the bounce back into this line. So that's why I had, a, you know, I put out the order there. Uh, but then, you know, right after that, kind of wash in through this. And right after that, when I saw something like this, you know, like something is really, uh, you know, being like, uh, keeping in mind is that if you see the stock, like trying to wash through that support, so either it's going to wash through that, right? And then with authority, and then it bounced back to that. It this one should act as a resistance. If the stock wants to go lower, it needs to break this, and then, you know, acting as a resistance. But instead, it got saved right away, it bounced right back into the high. You know, like you don't want to see this type of move. And I feel a little bit off about this one. So when I add it here, I mean, yes, of course, it's the line. 1920 here but it's also you know i don't want to see bound like i like i really don't want to see stock bouncing that much or that quick after it was to like 1830 like you know if you if you notice this is like an instant bounce to like uh, you know 19 it's like almost a dollar bounce right it's like every uh like people are panicking selling here but you know all the dip buyers here they they are praying for this dip just to buy that stock and right after i got this one and then stock wash okay at this point i said okay so this should continue to go lower then yes it might work so you know my original plan was to risk at 1950 here but when I see this type of candle, 
my whole idea about this trade changed completely. Okay, because you know it it just bounced like you know it got saved so quick, and you know, and 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 so much after you know this wash. I mean, this is like a big candle here, right? You know, you could say this is pretty much a rejection, uh, you know, candle. After that, you don't want to see got swiped right back here into this. It's like almost a, like a, you know, seventy cents a kind of candle here. Yeah, of course, you know, first one or two minutes, the volatility, I mean, is is really at its peak, and uh, you know, so you have to kind of keep that in mind as well. But uh, you know, this is like. I think the key point for me to decide if this was going to trap or not. Usually, most of the time, you see the first red day. When it pull, you know, when it drop like this, it should not be safe. Okay, it should continue to go lower even here and then bounce back into this resistance. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.